Here I have a plate with some shapes in it, and we're going to use this plate to learn more about uh, some things that Pythagoras discovered about triangles. So I can see a variety of shapes in this plate. And I can see that we have some triangles here that look like right triangles. I'm just going to make sure with our angle measurer that we are indeed working with right triangles. So we, yeah, that's a right triangle. And yeah, that's a right triangle. So I want to establish some equivalency here. Let's see if these triangles are equivalent. They are. They take up the same amount of space. We're going to explore a bit today about something about these right triangles. Now, let's take a look at this triangle and just remember some of its parts. Here's the right angle right here. And so these sides right off that, that help make up that angle are called the legs. And this side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Now, Pythagoras discovered something interesting about triangles. And he said that if you were to build a square off of each of the legs of a right triangle, those squares added together, the sum of those squares, would equal the square built off the hypotenuse. Let's take a look at this plate and see if we, what we can find out about that with this plate. So I see here I have a right triangle and a right triangle, and I just want to do a little more equivalency work to be sure that everything we're working with here is equivalent. So let's just see if these red squares are equivalent. They are, and let's establish equivalence with these other squares. Okay, so this red square is equivalent to this red square, this blue to this blue square, and this yellow square to this yellow square. Now let's see what Pythagoras was talking about. Look at this, what can you see? The blue, the pieces from the blue square plus the pieces from the yellow square do in fact take up the same amount of space as the red square. So these two squares that were built on the legs of the right triangle added up to equal the square built on the hypotenuse. Let's put everything back. So we could say that the square built on the legs of this right triangle equaled the square built on the hypotenuse. Would you like to try and establish the, the equivalence here and see how the sum of the squares on the legs of a right triangle equal the square built on the hypotenuse? 